Let's get the show started. Hey, this is Chad from Bacon Firearms Reviews, and I've got a cool treat here for you today. It served alongside the Mosin Nagant for up until 1950 for the First World War and the Second World War, and that is the Nagant M1895 Revolver. I got the revolver just like this. Uh, it came with the holster and uh, the gun also, of course. Uh, I got this from rguns.net. Uh, they're off a gun broker. They sell guns there. And also you can go on their website and order. Um, awesome people. There was great customer service. And I got it within two weeks. Uh, I just highly really recommend R Guns. Um, go check them out. They have all kinds of um, importable firearms. What makes this Nagant revolver very unique, uh, as you can see here, it's dated 1912. So this was around the time of the Romanovs during the Russian Empire. So this makes it a lot cooler for me because this is just a nice uh, piece for a historical aspect. And right there, you can see the katush of the symbol of the Russian Empire or the Romanov period. And that's what I really liked about this revolver. Pretty much uncommon to those that were made during the Soviet Union. Uh, this was built in a different time period of Russia. The extraction of the spent cartridges, uh, to get them out, there's this little thing you have to get here. This is the, uh, the um, extractor, would you say? And you just use this to punch out the old shells. And this is the loading gate. So you would do this to punch out the old shells. And uh, put the rod away. You just bring it out. Um, you got to rotate this on the barrel. And get that lined up. Then you pull it in. Then you screw this to keep it tight from sliding out. Then you would uh, close the loading gate. And that's pretty much how you do it. The ammunition we have is uh, surplus ammunition. I think this is from like the 1940s or 50s. Works pretty well. You can buy them still in the stores today for a reasonable price. And you see that the bullets inside the casing. Uh, that is actually for the gas seal system. This is how you would reload a Nagant revolver, uh, just just like any uh, you know old school Colt revolver. You just load them in one by a time, just like this. It's pretty much self-explanatory. I mean, it's pretty much a basic revolver, but at the same time, it's very unique. Field strip the revolver. It's pretty easy. You just gotta pull out your uh, rod or here, then you rotate the side. You'll see these notches right here. Line those up just perfect, and the center axis pin will pop out. Then you're gonna lip, take the loading gate out, take the cylinder out, and over here there's a little plunger, spring-loaded plunger. You'll see a little mark here. You line it up with the mark that is marked on the cylinder. Once you get it right there, you could just pull it out. This is pretty much not necessary to do. It is an option to clean your revolver. If you look closely at the cylinder, it rides forward to uh, seal the bullet casing into the barrel, which creates a gas seal. After I do my shot, you'll notice that the cylinder will come back. There was a couple takes before uh, 
this shot when I was shooting at the steel plate because I was at about 25 yards. I cannot hit the steel plate and it, the bolts were just everywhere. So I moved it halfway in between um, 25 yards. So I'm probably, you know, probably moved it about 30 feet away. I was managed to hit it, but as you can tell, even at this distance, I'm still all over the place on the steel target. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite revolvers because of the historical aspect. As you can tell, it's not really user-friendly. 15-pound uh, double-action trigger pull and about a 9-pound uh, single-action uh, trigger pull. So it is kind of a crummy uh, revolver, but it is unique because you can actually suppress it. Like you'll see a lot of videos on YouTube where you can actually do that because of the gas seal when the cylinder goes forward. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a whole lot of fun today. And remember, like always, have a bacon of a day.